Hello. Okay. So welcome to our next uh, virtual uh, bridge session. I don't know why I keep on saying the word eh in front of everything. I have that pause sound. I've, I've noticed it now that I watch some of these video recordings. Like I can actually count the number of times I say eh every time. And, and I, it's, it's, it's freaking me out. <clears throat> so I'm consciously going to try and stop now. Today's session then is about app development. And it's all about the app these days. Everyone's walking around with a mobile, mobile device. Uh, we no longer listen to our phones uh, this way. Uh, apparently we walk like this. Uh, <laughs> that's the new culture. And because, well, if you can't beat them, I feel we should join them. So it's about time that virtual bridges moved on to apps. Um, and I think what we're going to do today is try to develop a virtual bridge app. Now, I. I have, in true Blue Peter fashion, started, uh, <laughs> but I haven't necessarily got that far. So it'll be interesting to see how far we can get in 30 minutes in building an app. Um, it's pretty simple. The steps, you could absolutely take this and replicate this. And towards the end, uh, we're going to show you an app that was developed at Dumfries and Galloway College by Margaret Locke, who's joining us today. So, but <laughs> let's press on and see what we can do. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, yes. Oh, there we go. So uh, on my screen here, I'm going to go to a website. Now, uh, I should say, oh, that was my, my Spotify list. What was I listening to? I can't even remember. Um, <laughs> on on uh, how we're going to develop this app is we're going to use uh, an authoring platform. Now there's lots of these about uh, that you can choose from and some of them are designed for professionals to develop commercial apps that you can put out there, uh, gain an income from, use for um, commercial development or educational development. You, normally you would get a developer to develop for you, code it, but for us we're going to use something a lot more simple. Uh, we're going to use a service called Glide which came on the scene uh, maybe quite a while back. I think it started as a Kickstarter project years ago um, when I first encountered it, but it's kind of matured from then and it's become a very stable platform based around uh, the Google Docs environment and it uses a combination of Google Docs to develop apps for you in a very smooth sequence. So previously when I've delivered sessions around showing people how to create apps, I usually start off with the thing that we can develop an app in five minutes. <laughs> and, and we literally can. And I've done this with groups of lecturers, groups of um, students, students of all ages, uh, uh, college uh, age students, up to young adults, adults, uh, also school age children. So I've done P4s, P5s and P6s. Um, I've done it with high school students and everyone is able to build an app. And literally, when you're a young kid, there's nothing more impressive than watching somebody create an app and for it to magically appear on your phone. Um, it really, I'm a god to my children. <laughs> well, for like two minutes until they find something else to do. So uh, with Glide, I simply sign in. Uh, I now have to sign in with my Google account because what we're going to do is we're going to associate um, Sheets, Google Sheets, which is the equivalent to kind of Excel, a spreadsheet. And we're going to build an app from a spreadsheet. Now, the starting point is uh, when you log in, you can create an app and you have to choose a Google Sheet in order to base your app on. And it, you press a single button and it just magically appears. I mean, it's that, it's that good. So in order to do this, where we have to start is we have to build a Google Sheet. Now, what I'm working with just now is that up till now for the virtual bridge sessions, we've used an editable Google Doc uh, to share all the stuff that we're doing. So all of the 38 or so sessions that we've had, we've just written in this flowing doc, which now goes to about, well, 22 pages. Um, it includes a lot of content, <clears throat> some quick guides, uh, some of the issues that we faced and details of every session that we've delivered, including links to resources that have come with it and uh, a recording of the session itself. So what I was thinking is I want to take all of this content and put it into an app. So the first step when we're using Glide is to create a spreadsheet. And in true Blue Peter fashion, that's what I did earlier. Now I've created a spreadsheet here I started off with a simple, simple single sheet. Uh, I've called it sessions. 
and I've created a number of columns which I've dropped the information in. So if we look through it, I've put the number, the, the session that we were delivering, the date in which it was delivered. Um, I'm leaving an image column here blank because I want to add images to make my app look interesting. There, there's a couple of options for images that I want to show you. One is that if you have uh, an image that's online, if you're just lifting it from Wikipedia or, or Pixabay or something, you can put a direct URL link to that image and the app will pick it up. Um, but there's another way to do it, which is kind of interesting. It's not, it's not necessary, but it's probably better to put a defined link in, but this is just a, a quick way of doing it. Right, I've got my, my session titles. I've only done the first, well, 10 really. In fact, I'm going to, <laughs> I was going to be ambitious and do uh, 38 of them, but just because I don't have time <laughs> uh, at seven o'clock this morning, I got tired of copying and pasting. So I'm just going to go with the first 10, just to give you an idea of what it's about. I've got the presenter, the organization. In some cases, I do know that we've had two presenters. So I could put two names in here or potentially I could create another column. I don't know. I'll think about it when we go on. Um, I've got, oh, these are, oh, these are, let me just show you the descriptions of every session. So if I do text wrapping wrap, there we go. Okay, so if I make that slightly wider, you can see these are basically just the descriptions that are associated with each session. I ask every presenter to choose a song, which they have. Um, and there's an artist and a track. We might include that later. The recording, this is the YouTube link of the recording of the session. Uh, once it's been done, we put all sessions onto YouTube. So that's the link to that recording. The time of the session itself. Oh, and these are, resources that presenters put against any session that they delivered. Sometimes they're slides, sometimes they're links to other things. So I've put this into two columns because the way that Google Sheets works, you can't embed a link into text. It's, you have to really put the raw URL down um, or the text itself. So what I've done is in the virtual bridge session itself, I've got things like links to resources, uh, the pieces in here, but in this, table, I'm putting the name of the resource and I'm also putting the link to the resource itself in here. Um, and some people have done a wodge of resources and some people have done not as many resources, so I can leave some columns blank. So that's, that's the entirety of my most important sheet, which is the sessions. Um, I've also created a second sheet, uh, which is much easier, um, which is just going to be, well, I, I, it's going to be like an about page. Uh, and I've only created four columns um, and I filled in a single sort of field. Uh, image, description, just talks about what virtual bridges are and how to register for sessions if you want to join these events. So that's my entire sheet. Took me, probably took me about half an hour to, to put together. And once I have that ready and it's in my Google Docs, what I need to do now is get in to Glide and pull that doc out. So uh, now that I've logged in, this is the sheet. Uh, this is the screen that I can see. Oh, oh, someone else is joining us. Joy, hi, Joy. Um, I'm going to create a new app, and I'm going to choose from a Google Sheet. And I've got a whole. All right, I created one, and I called it the App Build, and that's the sheet you just saw recently. And that's what I'm going to select. And this is the bit where I say it's created in five minutes. So I'm waiting for the app to appear. And literally, that's my app. I now have a fully functioning working app that I could at this point just lift and put onto my phone. In fact, I could put it onto anybody's phone that's in the session today, my students, everyone would have this app on their phone and it would work like a regular app. For the technically minded of you, I should say that this app is what's technically known as a it's a web app, a progressive web app. So you do need to have your phone connected to the internet in order to draw down the data from the Google Sheet that's kind of powering it. Um, it's not possible at this moment to create an offline app. It only works when you have access to an internet connection. So looking at our app, um, some of the things we can sort of tell from it, it's, it's come up with a suggestion of how it wants everything presented. Uh, I have two tabs at the bottom. One is called Sessions and one is called About. And so basically I can flick between either one. Um, 
I've got a list. These are, the, these are the sessions that we had, the 11 sessions. So if I click on one, I can see it's got some information here. Uh, it's got a recording. It's got, yeah, the, the kind of information that I want. It doesn't look brilliant, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not bad. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to make our lab look a little pretty. So in the... <gasps> Next 10 minutes, we're going to try and fly through and see what we can do to this app to make it look a little bit better. Uh, first thing I want to do, let's see, uh, does this look okay? Let's, let's start with this menu page. I don't, I don't mind having a session, uh, a menu page, um, but we might want to make it look a bit better. Let's, uh, in fact, let's start with the basic build itself. Now, on this first screen, this icon of the rainbow that you see, which is a random picture, it can be anything that you want. This is the icon that would appear on your phone as your app icon. And you can upload any image you want to replace it. So rainbow, although it's very topical at the moment, um, I suspect I want to have something else. So let's see, if I go to my desktop, I did have some images. Like, right, okay, here's a virtual bridge image. I'm just going to stick that on it. Uh, and that looks very... Bridgie, that'll be fine. Um, I can, well, there's various themes that you can choose, only six really to choose from, um, either light themes uh, or dark themes, really, uh, a simple choice, whatever you like. Now, once you've chosen a theme, let's just go with bold. I like that, bold and light. You can choose a color to go with it, you know, uh, and it'll skin whatever color you want against your app. Um, I could go orange. Jason would feel very happy about that. And Jisk. Um, <laughs> let, let's, okay, let's just go for purple. If you, if you want to choose a specific color, you can. You could flick through any range of hues or whatever you like. Uh, but for the moment, let's just stick with purple. Um, do I need anything else for this? Let's see. Uh, I can, the other kind of options, I could give it, if you see here, I can give it specific names. Um, I can edit the authoring details of who, who, who created it. And I can give certain permissions to it. There, there are certain things that you can do with a pro account that you can't do with a free account. But to be honest, the free account probably suits most people. This, there's an option here to sign in to the session. And you can actually create apps that are customized to individual users. So you could have a person log in to the app and then have a customized screen. They could uh, upload stuff into the app or pre be presented stuff based on the login that they have. And they could choose favorites and stuff. So it's, it's got that personalization possible. But for us at the moment, I think if we just have a basic app open to everyone that's public, that's all that we need. Now, Next thing I want to do is look at layout. Now, the layout we're presented with, it's giving me a list style. I can present the information that I have in different ways. Uh, compact, uh, tiles, uh, you can see just the way that it is. Uh, we have a calendar option, uh, oh, which, which works with me because I actually have a date attached to some of my sessions. Um, a map, in the free version, you only get 10 pins for a map, so it's probably not as useful. You can do checklists, you can do various interactive things. Let's just stick with list for just now. Um, what have I got? I've got very brief introduction <laughs> to the virtual bridges and the virtual bridges sessions intro and VB. And it's just, it's filling in a, an image area for me there. Um, that's, that's all right. Uh, maybe I could do with some images though. So let's see if I can add some images. Now I know here are some of the thumbnails I've used for other sessions. I know for this introduction session, it was really Jason that led on that. So let me just stick an image in there. Um, let's see who did that. Oh, that was me. Uh, I did the one on PowerPoint presentations. Fiona did one on learning logs. Walter, thankfully I've done, done this in the proper order. Um, It'll be easier if I just threw these in just now. Um, Nader, I think he did the most popular one on Teams. Everyone's about the Teams these days. Uh, so all I'm doing now is dragging and dropping these ones in. And what it does is it actually uploads the image onto like a Google Drive system um, and then provides a link to that. And, and this is a free service, which is completely awesome. There's, there's David's session. Wow, he's with us today. Look at that. There's your time that in the sun. <laughs> Sorry? 
that is really slick. It, that just looks amazing in terms of how easy it is to do. Well, well, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. No, no. It is. It is good. Like it's got. Like so. If and you can look at any time at the spreadsheet that this is back against. And if you look at image just now, what's happened is that it's actually updating my image in real time with all yeah. those images that it just dropped in. So I mean it. I mean it just it just works, uh, which is awesome. Right. Let's look at this title. Is there anything I could do to make it slightly better? So at the moment. My title is oh, the description of the session. So it kind of makes a guess based on all of the columns that you have as to what you want to call each part of your interface. So in this case, I don't think a session title would make more sense. So this time I'm putting the session title up at the start. Uh, the second thing I want is probably not the image. Um, what would I put in? Uh, maybe, maybe the person who delivered it, possible. There we go. Uh, that's me, and the caption record. Oh, that, that's the same title, the same session title. I don't want that. I, want, I spelt title wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna have to live with that for the rest of my life. Uh, date. Let's well, stick the date in. There you go. Okay. That. Oh, date. Twenty three oh three. Okay. Date doesn't look particularly good. So if I go into my spreadsheet, one minute. Date. Oh, that's a better format. I like I like twenty three twenty. Um, okay, let me let me just uh, let's let's just change it to twenty three. In fact, I can just leave it at twenty three twenty, and then just change how that column looks. In fact, can't I? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Uh, format is it numbers numbers? This is this is where I on oh, numbers. Okay, let's see dates. There must be dates. Dates. There we go. Dates. Let's just stick it in like that. Okay. Let's see what it does. I can refresh. Oh, great. N n now, now it's going to. Oh, oh, look, look, it's done everything. Um, done the dates. Apart from that first one, it's still sitting at 2320 because it's not recognized that as a date. So 2320. <laughs> Because 2320, that, that's a terrible date. 230420 uh, is what we want it. In fact, let me put it into the correct right. format. <laughs> 2303, <laughs> 20. Right, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. And is that updated my app? Does it look better now? Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, does it look better now? Yeah, well, oh, let me refresh, reload the sheet. So when I make a change on the sheet, um, it will refresh for me. And you can see now it's come up. Uh, with the correct Indeed. date. All I can all oh. I can see is everyone's pictures. I can't see your screen anymore. Oh, 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 oh okay. Sorry. Um, I, I have inadvertently um, stopped sharing. Let me share my screen again. Don't worry. Uh, when when I edit this on the video, it's never going to have happened. <clears throat> Tell your friends, but you know, <laughs> you'll never find it. So uh, what have I done here? Okay, sessions. So se sessions. Okay, they look look fine. Can I search for sessions if I wanted to look for something on MS Teams? Yep. Okay. Right. So it, it picks up Google working just looking through all the text on your individual sessions. So I've got that. I've got two tabs: my About tab and my Session tab. Is there anything I can do with the tabs? Uh, I can. I'm sure I can do something with tabs. Let's see. This is where. You abs. This is where Margaret probably comes in and tell. Oh, tabs. There we go. Tells me what I should call it. Ta so my session tabs. Um, wow, that's fine. I'll just call them uh, virtual, virtual bridge sessions. Right, and we can choose an icon. Some of the icons I think are well. The the majority of them are free, um, but since these are really about the recordings that you'll watch. Let's just choose one. Let's see what uh, that'll do. Okay. You can always find something better later um, if you have more time. Oh, I can do that one. That's quite nice. Monitor camera. Ooh, virtual boot sessions. I like that. Um, and I can do the same with my my other tab uh, about. But let's let's leave that for now. So this this looks good. I I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, with how it's displayed. Let's have a look now though. If I jump into one of the sessions, uh, let's jump into Fiona. I was going to choose me, but it's that. <laughs> okay, not as great. Um, <laughs> let's, let's see what's happened here. 
Right. So on this screen, so this is like when I've, when I jump into one session, um, it's basically presenting me with everything that was on that Google sheet. And that does not look brilliant. So what I need to do is make this look a bit better. Um, <laughs> yeah, you should have thought I would have practiced this beforehand. Um, oh, let's see. Okay, right, right. Easiest way to go is what it's done is it's chucked all of these things in, uh, in a massive list. Um, so let's just get rid of some of this stuff. So I can just press X and get rid of uh, all these elements. And basically with these elements, once we have a, a few less on the screen, now let's just, let's just pay it back. Pay it back. Right. I've got three things there. Uh, a description, a number, uh, I don't even need the description, a number and a date. <laughs> um, and I can, I can lift them up and change them into different orders if I want. Uh, number and date's not brilliant. Um, I want something at the top. So I'm going to add what they call components. Um, and these are the different kinds of things that I can add. So let's, could I stick an image in possibly? Oh, there's, there's an image. Okay. Um, with the image that I've got here, I can do various things to it. I, first of all, I select what it is I want. Um, I'm, it's chosen image for me because it knows it's a link to an image. Those are the ones I dragged and dropped earlier. Um, let me, let me just go back and put, put the date, date and number under that maybe. That picture does not look brilliant. Let's go into the image. I've got some options here as to what I can do with the image. One is that I can choose a different size of image. There we go. Oh, that's, oh, I don't know. Um, a little bit bigger. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, it's got a bit cut off though. I don't know if I like that. Um, I can go edge to edge or I can add like a frame basically. So that it lines up with all of the other content uh, on that page. Uh, let's, let's just go with that for just now. Um, I have other options, but you can play around with it uh, if you have time. So number, oh, I don't really need number, do I? No. Um, what could I, what, instead of number, I just want maybe, the session title. So let's, let's add a component. Let's just add some text. Uh, let's, oh, session title. And it's chosen session title for me. Let's make session title large. Um, okay. That looks all right. All right fine. Um, let's put the date and session title. Let's whip it around. I don't know if I really need the word <laughs> date to explain date. So every one of these components, has like a, a small title thing that I can change. I could put anything I want here, but let's me just delete the word date and leave it blank. So I've got learning logs, 20. Oh, and what I want is probably a description. So let's add, let's add some more text and let's take it from a uh, description. All oh, right. Okay. Description. Right. Okay. So that's, that's kind of looking more, more like what I want. Um, <laughs> I probably should add the presenter. Uh, poor Fiona. Um, let's, okay, let's add again some text. Uh, presenter, there we go, Fiona Clark. Um, and I could add the organization, but believe me, I will do that afterwards for you. Let's see, place it there. Learning logs, ah, that seems right. Okay, now, because these sessions have been done, it would be good if, oh, I should put a video in, a video, that's what I should do. Let's add a video, uh, the actual recording that I have. So I have an option to stick in video. There's video um, and it's, it's given me just, it's taken it from the recording track, which is just the YouTube link works with Vimeo and other sort of areas. Uh, so I've got, that doesn't, still it doesn't look brilliant. Um, video, what, it, in fact, it's the same image. Okay, so let me, let me put the video up the top. Let me just get rid of the image. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at that. There's a CDN logo because it's a YouTube thing. CDN, I'll love that. Um, <clears throat> I'm CDN. I don't know why I talk about them in the third person. Read whatever you want into that. Uh, let's see uh, if I go back now. So what I've done is I've created this front section. It's now got every session laid out because once I do it for one, it does it for everything. And that is, that's pretty, that's pretty good actually. That's all right. I could add more stuff. Like I'm, I'm running out of time here. I've got like six, seven minutes left, but um, what I'd probably be doing is I'd probably be adding, you, you, you can make it nice. Like it's got nice bits. Like um, there's a separator. 
uh, you can add a separator and maybe I could add like the links to resources and stuff underneath. And you know, it, it's, it's pretty self evident how you do that, but <clears throat> I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your time with it just now. It's, it's definitely worth playing around with. In fact, we'll, we'll see a better example. Oh, that's pretty good. I quite like that. That's, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, description let's see you can you can do things like change the size of the text if you want if you've got a massive amount of text uh you could make it bigger or smaller um yeah you could play around with the look i mean it's it's constrained to to an extent but it's not it's not that bad um now this is my about page oh what could i do with my about page oh um this is a details page uh oh uh, let me uh, just because I, I i need to do this now um, <laughs> cause I'm on a mission, um, virtual bridges. I, I'm sure, I'm sure I have a virtual bridgey, uh, picture, uh, there you go, virtual, oh, oh, and I need to do it like this, right? Virtual bridge picture, uh, of the bridge itself. Let's see, will it drop it in there? Oh, no, it won't. It's just, it's, it's not letting me do it like that. Uh, I need to, I need to display it in a certain way. Um, Oh, I don't have enough time. I, I want to do this now. No, right. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother with that. I will add some notes afterwards and I'll clean it up. But basically you're, you're just playing around with the layout and the features and you can order any part on any page the way that you want and uh, drag out the stuff that you don't need um, and put in the stuff that you do want. I probably stick a picture in here. Um, add, add some, notes maybe add a title for to register and stick the link at the bottom and this is just a, a web link you can see one of the components you can add it's pretty obvious really is a is a link you can do tons of stuff like in check boxes you can mark favorites you can you can input uh, content it is pretty awesome now the important bit as we're getting to the end is how do you give it to other people so if you want to if you're happy with what you've done up until this point, uh, virtual bridge sessions. Oh, oh, I, I desperately want to change that because I just think it, it says virtual bridge sessions and it just looks too long because it goes up to the end. Just call it virtual bridge. I can't stop. It's the OCD. It's totally kicking in. Um, right. So that's my hub. Let's, let's just share it. And every time I make updates, it'll update on your, on your phone. So if I want to publish my app, I'm going to publish it. Basically what that does is it means that it's, um, <laughs> it's sending, it's sending and uh, sharing your, your Google sheet openly and, and pulling in data from it so other people can access it, giving people view rights. Now it's showing you like a VR thing, so, um, QR code, VR thing, QR code. If you have uh, a phone and you've got your camera, uh, you can point your camera at it and it should lift up the the link and it will give you a prompt to say you can follow the link onto your phone now i've done that what i'm going to show you now i'm going to stop sharing i'm going to share i really sorry that i'm just rabbiting on here i'm going to share my phone uh, if that works oh so let let me let me screen mirror Please tell me this works. Please tell me that this works. Go on. Say that you're going to work. Say that you're going to work. You know you want to. You know you want to. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> it's weird how these small wins like totally, totally get you. Right. So I took the picture of the app of the QR code. And this is what came up on my screen. And it says, tap the square box with an up arrow. So this is a, an iOS device. So it'll be slightly different on an Android. But basically, um, I want to tap and add to the home screen. So let's see, can I do that? I can tap and I can add to the home screen. Somebody is going to show me how to do this in a second, aren't they? Have I totally missed it? You can tell how many times I do it now. Uh, oh, there we go add to home screen. And that's not the same icon, just, just as a bit of defense. Uh, okay, so it's given me the picture. I sh probably should have used a square picture to make it look better, but it's given me my purple background. Let me add it. And there we go, there it is, there it is. Virtu you can see it in the bottom right hardened corner, virtual bridge sessions and app build. 
oh, then that's my app. This is like literally my iPhone. Um, oh, and I've got it on dark mode, which is my, my screen just uh, defaults to dark mode. Uh, there's the, oh, there's the session. Sorry, I can, I just, I, I want to play and watch myself now because that, that's, so it's just YouTube essentially uh, playing. I mean, in fact, I should not play YouTube because it will eat up all of my bandwidth and it probably will take ages to restream and show you what I'm seeing. Um, <laughs> but there was Jason for a second. Um, now the about page is still looking awful. So that definitely needs to be fixed. So once, once I come off this session, I'm definitely going to go away and just fix that and make it look very pretty. Uh, can I search for stuff on here? I was looking for MS Teams before. I should just look for me. Um, my Teams? Nope. <laughs> MS Teams, does that still? Oh, there you go, MS Teams. What about if I look for me? Um, get into all! <laughs> I tell you, my kids are so impressed when I do this stuff with them. <laughs> They just think I'm a YouTuber. Um, so, well, essentially that's it really. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop. Right, oh, back in the room. Um, it's like a, it's an app in several stages. Now, now if you thought that was good, like if you thought this, this is where we get on to like the awesome stuff. <laughs> am I building it up, Margaret? Am I, am I, am I, is that, is it, is it working for you? <laughs> awesome, so maybe a wee bit too adventurous. <laughs> No, oh, well, so so Margaret just it was last year, wasn't it? It, it was yes. Um, was it was it a teach me thing that it, we were it doing? It was uh -huh, uh -huh. right. Oh, right. So, okay, for the teach me. So Margaret just went away. In fact, you built like an, a portfolio system to begin with. I, I did. I initially built one for a full time group, and I'll I'll link to all their units, um, and I direct linked it into our Moodle from the app, and it worked particularly well. But we're challenged um, with um, a college academy starting next week and we were looking at, I think one of the challenges is probably going to be connecting with the students. And we kind of thought that an app would be quite a good idea because as you were saying earlier, <laughs> we all love apps and youngsters in particular like apps. So we were looking at um, building an app for the school kids as well as everything contained within this app should take them through an IT level four qualification. So we should be able to get a credit for the youngsters as well. So the app had two different sort of, two different functions to it. It was for connection and getting them through um, materials within three weeks. And this is your app. This is it. This, this is what is we're looking app. at. You, you shared um, this link with me earlier. And um, you have obviously quite a few sheets going on here um, and quite a lot of content in yeah, here. Yeah, we've got, we've got uh, like meet the team and video, obviously, because we're working remotely. Um, it's just, it's the staff introducing themselves um, to, 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 the, to the youngsters and just various um, links to, to, to different um, um, videos, etc. They can get um, into their Office 365 as well. You've put yeah. in direct links into everything. This is just, I mean, it's just what an awesome idea. Like the, the fact that you could build a custom app just for a, a group of students off the cuff like this, this is, that's stunning. S students would be so impressed that they've got like a dedicated app just for their course. I mean, that's just so awesome. I mean, I remember you showed me the, the portfolio app that you built and it was like literally like a week or two after you'd uh, I, I sort of met up again and you showed me what you were doing. It was like stunning. Did you not, did you not start developing the app on the way back down? I uh, did, back yes. Down the road. Yeah, hey. I, could, I could really see the potential with the app. I could see students really engaging with it and liking it. And I think, you know, we can do direct links into our Moodle as well. So I think if, if students can work from one app and have access to everything, it makes life an awful lot easier for us yeah. as lecturers, uh, rather than directing them to, to, to different websites, etc. So it works well. It's just, it's just awesome. It's just, it's brilliant that you've, you've put that together. And I, I think the thing is though, I mean, it is quite a simple system to put together. So it's not only the potential for, for us to do things with it and play around. Also like our, our students, our students or Joy, our children could build apps, could build apps. Like literally you could build apps um, and stick it on your phone. And I, it's the sheer joy, like I, I was, teaching this class of um, I think fourth years 
and they, they, they'd come into a college to do some, some sessions. <laughs> um, and my session was to build an app. And the fact that they got to build an app and actually stick it on their own phone at the end <laughs> and customize it, it was just like, that's it. This is the best session I have ever been to, ever. And it, you know, to, to be fair, my app was pretty poor. But <laughs> the fact that it was going on their phone and they were walking away with it, and the fact that you could do it in such a short space of time, and it looked good, and it was pretty slick, and it would move about, and it worked just like the other apps on your phone. Oh, it's so good. There's so much potential there. So much. So um, that's the end of our, uh, our, our 30 minutes. I will edit out the mistakes. Um, I should pause when I say that. Um, I should say, that's the end of our 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, thanks for joining the recording. Um, I really hope you'll be able to join us for some future virtual bridge sessions where we'll be discovering all manner of things. In fact, our next session is about being more human in these kind of online interactions on Friday. So if you have time, please come along and join Alice um, to learn about that because she has a lot of really interesting things to say. And, and I kept her online for a conversation for about an hour beforehand and wouldn't let her go away because she was just explaining all of her ideas to me. So if you have time on Friday, come join us then. Until then, stay safe.